tonight. It's kind of a scary thought. Two women violated at a movie theater and clothing store in Fort Myers, right here in our community. One woman was groped by a man while watching a movie. The other was in a dressing room when a man took pictures up her skirt. Tonight, police are still on the lookout for both perps. Fox 4's Jillian Hartman has details on each case and why you should be extra cautious this holiday season. Well, right now, criminals are out there looking for their next victim, waiting to see who puts their guard down for one second. Inside this Burlington and Fort Myers, police say a man took photos up a woman's skirt in the dressing room. The victim was then able to capture this photo of the guy inside the store. With that information, the police can easily arrest this individual. Former police chief Walt Salisco shares some advice for holiday shoppers on what to do when you're in a dressing room. Look around, see if anybody's standing by, particularly when you're walking in. See if there are any males or anybody just close by just watching you. Salisco also says be extra aware and have your keys ready to go when walking to your car. That way, you're less of a target. Criminals don't want to be in a position where they can be easily identified or bring attention to them. What they're trying to do is to give an element of surprise upon the victim. A woman inside the movie theater at Bell Tower was caught by surprise. In a report, police say last Friday the victim was getting a drink at the concession when a man approached her, asking if she was alone. She said yes. You never admit that you're alone because that's just going to, you know, get the guy more interested in what he wants to do. Police say the man then followed her back to her seat and started groping her legs and chest. She should have gotten up right away, moved away, scream. I mean, when something like this happens to you, when somebody touches you, start screaming in a movie theater. The woman did leave right away, but Salisco says getting a good description is key. In this case, the victim says the man was white, 5'9", about 200 pounds, had grayish hair and wore plaid shorts and a polo shirt. Now, if you have a helpful tip for police, just send it to their new free app called True Blue or call Crime Stoppers. In Fort Myers tonight, I'm Jillian Hartman, Fox 4, in your corner.